We sure all our remote access is secure. Bill Guide is updating between branches quickly enough. Why is my internet not working? It's a pain in the neck to have to reconfigure the network every time there's a new branch on this. My branch's team can't access other branches data quickly and it's affecting our central network. It's protected from accessing our network. Yeah, it must be our network. Wow, what a dream. Wish my real world problems would stay out of my nightmares. All right. Coffee, bagel, banana. Mmm, perfectly toasted bagel. All right, let's see what's going on in the real world while I've been sleeping. All right, let's log in. Hey, what are all these messages? Jen says that branch access to data at other branches is too slow. Huh. Hassan says the marketing team sometimes has trouble accessing their cloud apps. Accounting is complaining. Seems our network costs too much to maintain. And Goran in IT, he says the network's brittle and hard to upgrade. Well, seems like our WAN really could use an upgrade. Wonder what kind of solutions there are these days. Now, what to search for? Hmm, huh. SD-WAN. That sounds interesting. Let's take a look. Enterprise-level wide area networks connect main offices with branches and other locations, allowing for <laughs> Networks can be labor-intensive to set up, brittle to maintain, and expensive to expand as the business grows. And because dedicated <laughs> resources, wherever they're located, are managed with software using existing telecommunications infrastructure rather than dedicated hardware. This allows for direct communication among all of these locations rather than long, slow, roundabout routing through central corporate data centers. With Fortinet's Security First SD-WAN implementation, this reliability and speed come with the security and peace of mind of a dedicated private network while being much more affordable. Wow, this sounds exactly like what I need. Sounds like if I enable the security fabric first, it gets even easier, so let's look into that first. Okay, so first thing, let's enable the fabric. Let's see, what's this? Oh, well, the root FortiGate, that can be headquarters. And authorize. Whoa, what's this? I can see so much in the topology now. All right, looks good. Let's save this dashboard, and I can come back to it later anytime. SOC as a service? Let's sign the CISO up for that. Well, that was pretty straightforward. Hey, what are these alerts here? Oh, right. Some of the applications are not performing well. Well, let's go ahead and enable SD-WAN next. All right, so I pick a best practice? That seems easy. Okay, let's pick the sites. New York headquarters. LA headquarters. Blueprint for all the new branches. Hmm, that's easy. All right, blueprints for switching. And wireless. And done. Wow, that was quick. All right, let's take a look how it's working. Zoom into New York. Branches are communicating directly with ADVPN, not through the central office, so that's good. Wait, what? Office and Salesforce are offline? Oh, how do I fix that? Well, I guess I better figure it out. Oh wait, they're back online. I love when problems fix themselves. Oh hey, what's that? Looks like something's going on at the other hub. Guess I better go take a look. Let's zip the map over there, see what... Oh, I see, Zoom's having a problem. Looks like YouTube's slowing it down. Oh, it's fixed too, perfect. But just to be on the safe side, let's throttle a little YouTube back. I'm sure they're just watching instructional videos, but business meetings are a bit more important. 
Now that SD-WAN's in place, we don't have all the lag of our traffic going through the data center at HQ. Plus, we can access our cloud apps a lot more quickly, especially from the branch. Our IT team will be able to set up new branches a lot more quickly now. Glad I found that blueprint option. Now whenever we roll out a new branch, they just plug it in and go. Working with the test team at the other branch is going a lot better now that we have quick access to each other. The staff at the branches are a lot happier now that they can get data from the other branches quickly. We can rely on the access to the build app. I can give that team the flexibility to work in their own branch office to the network a lot easier than it's ever been before. Well, that should take care of all my pending issues. Breakfast, here I come. Whoa! IT department, Marco speaking. Hello Marco, this is Prisha. Oh hi Prisha, what's up? You have a notification from SOC as a service. What? Department? Notifications from Fortinet SOC as a service? Unprotected users? Okay, I got it. Yeah, we do have a lot of remote workers now. And yeah, there was that recent acquisition. Secure access to our network? Yes, that's absolutely a priority. You're right, we need to make sure all the endpoints are protected. I'll get right on it. I wonder if there's a simple option for extending our network security to all those remote users. That sounds like what I need. Let's take a look. Expanded and distributed networks. An enterprise needs to provide secure access to the internet, SaaS applications, and other services. Introducing FortiSassy, Fortinet's scalable cloud-based service powered by decades of FortiOS innovation and FortiGuard Labs threat intelligence. This scalable platform is purpose-built to keep remote users secure and also supports advanced client-side features is always protected. FortiSassy security pops are strategically placed around the world to provide high-speed connectivity for your work-from-anywhere workforce. FortiSassy enables businesses of any size to ensure the highest level of security and performance for everyone. Wow, sounds like FortiSassy is pretty easy to use. Plus, I can manage it the same way as the rest of my network. Okay, so these are the unprotected endpoints. Let's get this set up as soon as possible and get them protected. All right, let's get it set up. All right, select profiles. Oh, cool. He's imported automatically from my SD-WAN network. AV, web. Application, perfect. Oh, inline inspection of CASB and Sandbox? That's new. And we'll include everybody in this list. And let's see what happens. Oh, they're moving over automatically, perfect. All right, a bunch of users are now on FortiSassy, great. FortiSassy provides edge-to-edge -edge security by providing a full network security stack as an integral part of the WAN, rather than as an afterthought added later. This allows for consistency of data protection, reducing complexity to streamline and simplify security management. This, in turn, reduces administrative time and effort, resulting in lower costs and greater agility. SASE also provides greater visibility and control over the use of data. Nice to see our remote users protected from online threats. This is so wow, logging into the application is easier and quicker now. Hey, the network seems pretty yeah. quick lately. And now, time for breakfast. Huh? Oh, a message from Ji Hoon. Just got to the airport. I need access to the online accounting application. I filled out and submitted the application for VPN access, but the CISO rejected it. Oh, that's right. The CISO wants to ensure that everyone connected is posture checked. Huh, VPN doesn't really support that though. So I need to grant access to the network, but only for a particular application. Hmm, wonder what I can find out about that. Do you have visibility into who, what, where, and how users are accessing your protected applications? TNA takes the opposite approach. Nothing is trusted until verified. Fortinet Users accessing the protected application can be in the office or coffee shop or anywhere else. For more information. Hmm, that sounds like it matches exactly what the CISO wants. So we migrate this VPN over to ZTNA? Oh, I can migrate the existing SSL VPN apps right over. 
first pick the application, online accounting, yep. Let's search for tags for the employee. And let's just pick Jihoon and get it going first. All right, there's the app, and there he is. Oh, sounds like it's working for him. Implementing ZTNA improves security at the perimeter of the network by making user identity the key to access. This allows for greater granularity of access control and verification of the user for each corporate application without risking potentially compromising access to other assets. This allows enterprises to modernize much more easily by adopting new applications with little or no risk to existing resources. Wow, that was a good morning's work. All before I have my cold breakfast. Well, it was worth it.